Today, you're going to be learning how you can jailbreak your Chromebook and get all these apps like Discord, Steam, Snapchat, Roblox, and even more. This should be really easy if you just follow exactly as I do. All you need right now is just an 8GB flash drive and a PC, and the bigger flash drive the better, but 8 should be enough. Go to chrome100.dev and you're just going to find your Chromebook model down here. Use Control F if you can't find it. And if you don't know what your model is, just look on a sticker at the bottom. Um, yeah. And once you find it, you're going to find the motherboard corresponding to it. And once you find that, go to this GitHub page that I'll link. And you're just going to go ahead and download the one for your board. If it doesn't exist, then that might be difficult. Um, I'll help you out in the comments. And you're just going to go ahead and download the Chromebook recovery utility. Open up the extension. Click settings um, at the top right. And you click use local image. And as you can see, we have this file. And... We're going to use this to jailbreak our Chromebook into Linux. And yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and open it up. And um, this is the time where we plug in our flash drive into our PC, not our Chromebook yet. And it's just going to say, uh, yeah, it's going to say select and you're going to select your flash drive. And you're going to click create now. This shouldn't take long at all. Just wait for a little bit. Okay, yeah, now that it's done, we're going to click the done button. And now this is the time to put your flash drive into your Chromebook. And now we're going to press some keyboard shortcuts. First, you're going to press escape, reload, and the power button. If the power button is on your um, keyboard, it should also work. And now press control D and enter. And this will wipe all your data. So if you have important files, then don't do this or back them up first. And after it, it's going to show you this screen and just press the same thing, escape, reload, and power again. And now, what you're going to see is like, um, yeah, you're going to see this. And it's just going to be a lot of text. And it's going to ask you something. Just press 3 and then enter. Don't worry about it. And after this, it should load you into a login screen. Just um, for the username and password, just type user and enter when you're done to log in. Okay, and now we are into Debian Linux. And what you're going to do is open up Terminal. And the first command we, you need to run is sudo expand root f, um, fs. And yeah, type in the password for the user and press enter. And this is very important. Do not close it. Um, it's going to take like a couple of minutes to run um, depending on your Chromebook speed. But yeah, as you can see, I'm done here. And what I'm going to do next is connect to my Wi-Fi. Feel free to connect to yours. Well, I mean, you can't really do anything without Wi-Fi, but yeah. Anyways, since I'm connected to my Wi-Fi now, we need to update the packages I meant. sudo apt-get update, and we're going to type in our yeah password, and just wait for a little bit for this to download. And now that we're done, we're going to type in some more commands. Okay, so we're going to type in sudo apt install KDE Plasma Desktop with a dash in between every word. And what this is going to do is just make your entire thing much easier to use, and also look better. Uh, yeah. So you just got to wait for that to finish and you're going to see this, press enter and you can choose either, the, either it doesn't matter and it's going to download some more stuff and after that you're going to reboot your Chromebook using the same shortcut as earlier and then after we log in, um, you're going to see that everything just looks so much better and if you need help on how to use stuff, uh, just feel free to ask me in the comments I guess. If you subscribe and like, I'll probably drop more tutorials on this.